Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Zyblo here in today's video. I'm gonna be going over the X Defiant Ubi Forward update that they announced today on June 12th. Uh, basically recapping and going over the key details for you guys, just in case you guys missed it, or just wanna learn a little bit more or get a little bit more insight. On June 21st, they're gonna be having an open beta, um, just in case you guys missed that. Uh, so it starts at 10 a.m. Pacific on June 21st. For everyone worldwide for pc xbox and ps5 uh but it's actually comes out one day earlier if you did play the closed beta so if you played the closed beta um you know last session last x defiant session that they had the closed beta and everyone was playing um if you played that closed beta you're going to be able to play one day earlier before everyone else before the open session uh because they want to uh, let everyone into the server to make sure that the servers are good because obviously there's going to be a huge influx of players especially when the open beta you know is released uh the open beta lasts three days technically four if you did play the closed beta uh, it ends at 11 p.m pacific time june 23rd and one thing about this um they might you know let the beta go on a little bit longer maybe because last time for the closed beta they actually let the closed beta uh go on for like two more days so who knows maybe they'll you know let us play it a little bit more uh, but the, the most exciting news from this Ubi Forward was that they're actually planning to launch X Defiant this summer. So later this summer, it says. So I'm assuming somewhere between, you know, late August or early September is when we might see, you know, this game finally drop. Um, and that's obviously huge news because I honestly was expecting this game to probably, you know, uh, come out with all the other games, you know, like Call of Duty, for example, and all that usually like in November, you know, like a little bit later down that line maybe even december but the re the the announcement of it coming out you know this summer or later this summer means that it's coming out really soon which is really cool um obviously they're gonna be waiting to announce an actual date after the test so it, it might come sooner it might go it come later depending on you know how the open beta goes for them uh, in terms of you know if the input delay is fixed like they say um if the net code is really good like they say now um you know all those little things you know if everything's working fine in this open beta if everyone's loving the game and thinks it should be dropped right away you know then they'll drop it up they'll drop it as soon as possible uh but only you know we can see and hope after you know how the open beta goes um they're also they already also announced um how you know once the game drops how it's going to work so there's gonna be a preseason for six weeks long when the game drops uh there's gonna be 14 maps 10 arena maps and these are the arena modes if you don't know so it's like domination uh occupy which is basically like hard point and and this mode i'm not sure what that is honestly and then they're gonna have four progression maps or you know the one where you move the robot and then and then um the rush type mode that they have i forgot the names of it but but yeah and then they're gonna have five factions these are the five factions that were in the closed beta um cleaners libertad echelon phantoms and dead sick you know i'll be making another video specifically on you know a tier list of these factions in my opinion of course um but at, at the end of the day all these factions are all good in their own way it's just me i'm more of a competitive you know type player so you know i'll be making a tier tier list on that and um and then ob obviously they're gonna have all the weapons that they had in the closed beta probably a little bit more that we couldn't get um and hopefully we see some new ones in the open beta but yeah they're gonna have a bunch of weapons you know over 44 attachments for each weapon so that means you know you're gonna have to be leveling up each weapon and that's the reason why they're having this preseason so that everyone tries out the game get used to the game get used to the modes and just have fun you know what i'm saying like have fun leveling up your weapons and progressing each of them trying out all the new you know classes and you know completing the challenges that they have in the game that you can actually you know get uh from you know just playing the game um and then yeah and then they also renounced already how the year one roadmap is looking and how you know they have it planned out so after the preseason um they will have seasonal seasonal you know content you're gonna have four seasons in in every year it seems or at least in the first year uh every three months basically so every three months from when it comes out uh they should be dropping you know each season so if you are looking for you know rank play if you are looking for um if you are looking for a rank play if you are looking for uh you know private matches or anything like that they have it coming out in the first season and the first season you know it's gonna drop six weeks after the preseason so as you can see it says the preseason will be six weeks long and then that's when the first season should drop 
And then from there, every three months, they're going to be adding a new season. So with each new season, there's going to be, you know, a new operator or a new co uh, a new faction, I mean. Uh, so for the first season, it shows Ruby is the new faction and then Buzz for the second season, Orchard Horde. They're also going to be adding three new seasons or three new weapons for each season, three new maps for each season. And then obviously, you know, the 90 tier battle pass that usually comes with every game nowadays. Um, they're also going to have new arena and progression modes. So new modes so for arena i'm assuming like s and d would probably come out for season one um as an arena mode you know what i'm saying because s and d is usually in all the games and then progression modes you know i'm excited to see what they have in mind for that uh because when it comes to progression type modes there's not really a lot of new ideas out there you know like one thing that comes to mind is the way that overwatch you know has their game when it comes to progression modes because that is a progression mode type game mode uh you know so they might have like a other like free for all for arena or maybe like a gun game type arena mode as well you know but they're going to be adding new arena and progression modes you know like i said i'm assuming with season one so six weeks after the pre after the game drops they're going to have ranked mode private matches and then they're having caster cams which is basically like codcaster and call of duty you know where people can spectate you um so that is obviously really cool because now we're going to have a mode that's competitive and we're going to have private matches which means we can you know, or like they're going to start hosting tournaments, maybe, you know, big tournaments for people that are really competitive, like myself. Uh, and yeah, that obviously that's exciting. You can scream your friends, you can play your friends and stuff like that. Uh, and then they're going to have, uh, they're going to be like, you know, working throughout the seasons, it says on making sure that no one's cheating, you know, making sure they can make the competition as fair as possible. Because obviously that's an ongoing battle in every single game that's on PC. Um, and then um i guess they're gonna have uh comfort features for beginners like a practice zone like a target range i'm assuming that's gonna be you know available for everyone and then a welcome list for beginners so probably like some challenges that you can you know do as beginners to help you learn the game a little bit and get rewarded for which is really cool um so yeah it's a lot obviously it's really cool if you uh if you wanted to see you know the confirmation about uh the beta like I said, if you did have the closed beta, you'll be able to start on June 20th um, instead of June 21st. But on June 21st is when everyone can play through the 23rd. So hopefully everything goes well. Like I said, that's only a week away. So it's coming real soon. It's going to be really fun. And then the last thing, just in case any of you guys are last gen like PS4 or Xbox One, uh, if you guys were wondering on any you know updates on if they're going to be adding you know, X Defiant on those generation consoles. They actually released this. It says, we've seen your questions about last gen platform support. Last gen is actively being worked on so that they offer a similar great experience to current gen. Uh, we will launch them as soon as they are ready and update you on this topic closer to launch. So it seems like, you know, they are going to have, you know, X Defiant on, uh, you know, last gen and they're going to support it, um, you know, so that's really good. So if you guys are looking for that update, if you guys are still on a last gen console, you know, there it is. They will update us more on this topic, of course. And yeah, it should be good. And then just to show you guys, you know, how excited I am. Uh, I actually played a couple tournaments in the beta. Uh, they were 6v6 and I'm assuming competitive is going to be 4v4. So it doesn't really mean anything crazy. But as you can see, your boy Zyba was going crazy. This was actually in the finals of the tournament. And uh, it was a best of one. You play one map with six people. So this was my team of six. And then this was another team of six that we played. And as you can see, I, I went crazy. 71, 71 kills for the dub to win the tournament. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna be making videos on it, you know, tier lists on, you know, the fact different factions. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Peace.